The problems of our broken borders are certainly not restricted to immigration. They also jeopardize our inspection of imports, including some of the nation's food supply. Tonight, there are new concerns about the quality of meat that is being imported into this country. Kitty Pilgrim reports. Take a close look. The meat in a U.S. supermarket says USDA inspected, but that doesn't mean it was looked at by U.S. meat inspectors. That inspection can be done thousands of miles away by a foreign inspector in another country. Consumer groups say some of those foreign inspections are flawed. Under the WTO and NAFTA rules, the U.S. is accepting meat into the U.S. that it's determined is equivalent, and we're eating it even though this meat doesn't meet the most basic standards of our U.S. food safety systems. Imported meat from 28 countries with so-called equivalent standards is stamped with the USDA seal as it comes into the United States. The most recent available statistics show only about 7% of that meat is re-inspected by U.S. inspectors. We are not requiring these countries to meet our identical standards. We firmly believe here in the United States that we produce the best beef under the very best of conditions, the most stringent health and safety conditions. The foreign meat inspector is also supposed to be a government official, but in some cases the inspector was a private employee on the payroll of the meat company. Public Citizen says violations were found repeatedly in Mexico, for example, over the last few years. The USDA just suspended meat imports from France, but violations had gone on for years, and during that time, meat was still imported from France. In 2002, the USDA began to notice problems with three French plants. In 2003, it was four plants. But it wasn't until this February the USDA said there was enough of a problem to ban all meat products from France. The same ban also was put on meat products from Hungary last month and is still in effect. The USDA says they had problems with Mexico and Argentina with